Good morning, dear children. Let us do one activity to determine the focal length of a concave mirror by obtaining the image of a distant object. Now, let us understand the meaning of distant object first. A distant object is that object which is far away from the mirror. So, from that object, the rays of light which will come, they will be parallel to each other. They will be parallel to principal axis and when they will strike the mirror then the image will be formed at the focus and we will keep a screen on the focus and then we'll find the distance between the screen and the mirror and that will be our focal length so this is uh, you know first ray diagram if you remember there are total six ray diagrams of concave mirror so this is first ray diagram that we are discussing practically so for doing this practical we need certain operators so let us see whatever we need uh, we need the following things we need a concave mirror a mirror stand, a screen, white board is there, white paper can be used as screen also and one meter scale. Now let's see the procedure. Keep the mirror stand on the table. The table should be close to a window and the mirror is fixed in this mirror stand and distant object that can be any tree or any building outside the window that's the distant object now keep a meter scale on the on this table with the help of which we will measure the focal length now give a specific position to the mirror stand we are giving a specific position to mirror actually this is at five centimeters so let us keep it at five centimeters and then we will keep a screen close to this mirror. So this is the screen as you can see that is kept close to the mirror. Now this screen will be brought closer to the mirror. And we will have to move it forward or we will have to move it backward. So why do we do so? Because we, we want to get a well defined sharp inverted and smaller image of the building or the tree that we are watching outside so let us uh, enter the values here first is 5 centimeter where is the uh, where the mirror was placed and position of the screen is 20.6 centimeter and the difference between them it is 15.6 centimeter and that is the focal length of concave mirror so the difference between the screen and the mirror the gap between them that is the focal length you know screen is placed at focus actually in second case it is at 10 centimeter and now the position of screen will be 25.4 centimeter so we'll see the difference difference is 15.4 centimeter so two readings we have taken now for third reading it is at 15 centimeter and the the mirror is at 15 centimeter for the third case and the screen is at 30.6 centimeter so it's not a fixed position you know we are bringing it forward or we are moving it backward when the screen is at 30.6 centimeters then a sharp and diminished image inverted sharp and diminished image well focused image is formed on the screen so that becomes the correct position of the screen and now again we are to see the uh, distance between the screen and the mirror and in this case it will be 15.6 centimeter 30.6 minus 15 centimeter it will be 15.6 centimeters so in total we have three values now we have 15.6 centimeter 15.4 centimeter and another value 15.6 centimeters so we'll take the mean of these three three focal lengths we have we will take the average of these three so that will be our answer so this is how we are to calculate the rough focal length in case of concave mirror. I hope you have understood.